Hey, did you see the new Tron figures? Yeah, the ones from Diamond Select? They're so cool, man! Tron! Yo everybody, this is Rock the Great, aka The Toy Book, and in today's video we are going to be doing a toy review of the Series 1 Tron figures. Now, you're thinking to yourself, I've seen these Tron figures before. That's because Walgreens had an exclusive Tron series wave where it had Flynn in his blue outfit, and I believe it had Tron, and it had uh, that Sark too but they were limited articulation and he was blue. This is like the first wave, I believe this is the one that is hitting retail shops and stuff, and this one is the one you're gonna want. This is the, the great one. These are $19.99 each. Uh, usually they're supposed to retail for $19.99, and they have tons of accessories. They got the discs, they got the hands, I believe, and they even have stands, yeah. I see some stands in there. These look great, man. I am stoked about this. My thoughts on this movie is, uh, I, I visually really like it, and we definitely need that girl. They need to make a figure of that girl, and those, the, the henchmen of this guy with the, those big hockey pads. I just, older movies were so creative, and I just, I really, when I saw these, I was like, I gotta have every Tron figure. So, I'm really excited to go over these and open these guys up. No, I won't be smashing them because I actually like these figures usually you know people <laughs> seem to like when i smash my actual figure boxes now but we're gonna open these really gently or not <laughs> so let's open these guys up and we're gonna be doing a full review of all three of these guys i hope this line keeps going because these look just out of the like not even out of the box yet these look really cool before we open them up let's just check out the back look she's on the back we need her i, for I totally forgot her name now but I, I, just, oh, I love her in this movie. That outfit is just so nice. <laughs> I don't know why. They're in gray and blue. But, she, damn, she is... We need a figure for her. Come on, listen, Diamond Select, Zach, Chuck. We Look, at, we need this guy right here. Do it. Here's the backing. We got Disney, Diamond Select, local comic book store, locator. Go buy some comics. Let's open this guy up. Let them free of their RAM processors. Oh, this is cool. So it's got the blocking. Dip. Okay, so we're going to go over all the accessories. And then we'll go over the figures. Let's see, anything hidden? Diamond Select usually hides stuff behind their uh, packaging. So always check, guys. That's a little tip from me to you. Oh, look at that. These guys are really cool. And uh, they're very articulated, too. I have to say that, actually. So... Diamond Select usually has a specific way they, that they uh, articulate their action figures, but they spared no expense on these. Oh, wow, okay. All right, all, the, all that's missing is butterfly joints, and it looks like they had butterfly joints printed into this sculpt, but they didn't do them. I'm on to you, <laughs> Diamond Select, but I still think they look great. Yeah, it looks like they had a sculpted butterfly joints, and then last minute they were like, all right, take those away. Uh, I'm sure you're not going to need it. Shoulder joint, you have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and jointed hands, wrist. They have a nice leg. Usually they have, Diamond Select has weird articulation on the thigh, but this one's really nice. Look at that. It's just like normal articulation right there. You could do pretty decent split and the thigh swivel. Always need a thigh swivel. You got the double jointed knees. Uh, any calf, no calf articulation, uh, but ankle rockers. So we got the ankle rockers on the bottom. This is cool, man. Look at young Jeff Bridges. He's so weird when you, like, when you just remember him as old, right? And you go back and you're like, wait, that's what Jeff Bridges looks like without a, uh, a beard. Just like the NECA toys, you're going to want to heat these guys up before you uh, mess with them. A, a lot of this plastic, you don't want to risk any breaks. And also, when you heat it up, it just makes the articulation work better. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, cool. Okay, he has the disc, and it seems like it pops into his back. And it goes underneath his shirt part. Very cool. Look at that. I'm definitely going to need to get all these Tron figures. These... These guys look really cool. And I already was 
talking to my wife about it and I was like, I'm gonna make a Tron diorama. So look out, after you're watching this video, come back, subscribe to the channel. There will be a Tron diorama eventually on my channel with a tutorial. That's how I like to do my, look at this. These are really cool. I can't wait to explore with these and do some toy photography. Very cool. So he's got the hands. He's kind of got like regular gripping hands or throwing hands. And then he has more. Oh, so you probably use these to throw the disc in. So you're going to want to look at that. So yeah, this is like a throwing hand. And you're going to just like try and stick the, you know, you just got to mess around with the, with all these action figures. You got to practice posing and stuff. And oh, can you stick a little finger? Look, stick a little finger in there if you need. You know, just practice your posing. If you're having trouble with them holding this stuff, it's just, you know, you'll get there eventually. <clears throat> Very cool. Look at this. He's got the, oh, awesome. Awesome. Here's Tron. I'm going to really need to track down the Flynn in the blue though. So I'm going to have to go to Walgreens. <laughs> I hope they still have them, but same back. Nice front. He looks like he comes with a little bit more accessories. So this is exciting. Check him out. Anything behind here? No, nothing behind here. He's got the stand again. Comes with the disc, a throwing disc, and then a curved disc. Very cool. Just like when he whaps that guard, he just throws the disc like real savagely at that guard, and the guard like explodes. Pretty cool. But I'm really impressed with the articulation of these figures. Uh, let me see. Let's zoom in. Hold on. Look at that. The likenesses are all pretty spot on too, especially for like the weirdness of, excuse me, coffee break. The weirdness of like the image and the movie, right? Like it was like fuzzy gray at times and like, see like he's like a little purple. And I think they did a good job with the designs. Nice sculpted lines. A lot of these are sculpted. Not all of the lines are sculpted, but you get the effect. And again, same articulation as the other guy. I don't really have to go through it all. And, oh, you even have a little bit of upper thigh swivel along with the... Now, see, if you want to have more articulation range, you could pop these off, heat them up, pop them off, and then just drill a little line on the top. You won't see it, but if you just drill a little line, he'll be able to do splits this way. And it really won't... He could do like wider splits and it won't really affect articulate um, the look of the figure. So I think I might do that, but look at that. That's great likenesses. Hold on. Wow, look at that. Oh, I'm digging. I am digging these figures. Look at that. Whap. I love that part when he just throws the, he's like, just threw it. Whap. That guy just exploded savagely. They didn't throw these things enough in my opinion. Like, at just every guard, they should have just, look, holds that perfectly in his hand. Very nice. And again, this pops on his back. Yeah, there you go. Very cool. So he comes with these two energy effects, with their, which are really nice. I can't wait to do some shots with those. And then he also comes with those same throwing hands. And then he comes with these hands where, I don't know, they're like, a weird, look like a monkey, like a monkey paw. All the hands are interchangeable, so you could pop those hands, they're the same color, you could put them on the Flynn figure. All right, last but not least, oh, I'm excited. This guy, oh. I was wondering, you think we'd get human figures of, of these Tron guys? Because that would be really cool. And then like Flynn could come with a, uh, with a arcade machine. That would be really sick. If you guys are listening to this video, all right. Last but not least, we have Sark, which is a pretty good bad guy. I did, I, I did dig him in the movie. Okay, great shot. All right, so it seems like Tron comes with the most accessories out of all of them, because he has an extra set of hands. So Flynn comes with the least amount, Tron comes with the most amount, and. Sark comes with almost the same as uh, Tron, just missing two hands. So you see all the same accessories as uh, Tron. I'm actually gonna go to uh, I'm going to Walgreens after this to see if they have the blue Flynn figure because now I I like need that figure. 
Those, he has a, oh, he has a different set of hands. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Again, so same articulation, but let's look at the, the details on this guy because I always loved that head thing he had. Look at that. The likenesses are really good on this. I think this might be one of Diamond Select's like better. I usually like their stuff, but I got to say like, I'm really digging this whole line. Same articulation everywhere, so nothing really new to do. It's got the nice articulation. Disc goes in the back. But he has a different set of hands. So his hands are more gripping. So these are actual gripping, gripping hands. Hold on, let me see if I could. So these are actually gripping, gripping hands. Interesting. So this looks like, oh, when they hold the disc like this. Look at that. Yes, look at that perfect disc hold, gripping hands like this. Oh, I like that. And again, you could use these hands with Tron or Flynn. And all the hands should be interchangeable. Here, let's get them all next to each other. Just for... Oh, I need that blue Flynn. Like, right... I need it yesterday. I'm gonna go check it. And then we need that girl. Totally forgot her name. But, cute scientist girl. Oh, look at those guys. They look great together. So, that's it. This was the video. I hope I didn't gush over these guys too much. But, really digging them. Nice likenesses. Uh, cool details. Just nice sculpts. They, they, they almost... This guy is all different sculpts. And then, yeah, these are a lot of new sculpts for Diamond Select. Which is probably good because they have the Disney behind them. And, uh, you know, backing them. Oh man, I'm I'm stoked. Please give us the girl, give us those guards. I'm going to work on a diorama and I'm going to do a video on that diorama soon. So if you're interested in more toy reviews, hit the subscribe button. I do diorama stuff on this channel. Also, hit the subscribe button. I am a graphic designer artist that makes uh, designer toys sometimes. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you're looking for a new father, you know, hit the subscribe button. If you're looking for a new friend, hit the subscribe button. If you have a bunch of extra coffee in your house and need someone to drink it with you, hit the subscribe button. This is at Rock of the Great. Goodbye, guys. Peace. Hit Diamond Select Toys up. Peace.